I hear that sometimes guys wonder how they can keep their girl happy without much effort. Let me tell you, there's three key tips that you can use that will actually help you create a stronger bond in your relationship that really aren't that hard to implement that can help keep your girl happy for a nice, long, productive relationship. But first, the showreel. Here's the deal. I have women that come in and they're all concerned about how they looked, how their body has changed. Maybe since they have had kids, since they've grown older, since they're losing their hair, gaining a little bit of weight here, not able to stay as strong as they used to be. Maybe work's gotten in the way, maybe life's gotten in the way. And they're concerned that if they lose their physical looks and they're all their physicality, that they're also gonna lose their man or their partner. So tip number one, guys, let me tell you, compliment your woman on more than just her physical looks. Like, of course, we like being told that we're hot and that we're sexy and that you like the way our hair looks. And when we spend a lot of effort on our looks, we want you to notice and appreciate that. Yes, tell me my makeup looks great. Tell me my hair looks great. Tell me that I look good in what I'm wearing. But don't forget also to tell me that you appreciate how intelligent I am, right? And this is the thing, when you start telling your woman how beautiful she is beyond her looks, how much she means to you beyond her looks, the value she brings to your life, the value she brings into the relationship, right? That she's the mother of your child or that you love the way she laughs, you love the way she makes you laugh, you love the way that she cooks or that makes she makes you a better person, whatever way, whatever it is that's really authentic and true to you, that will help boost her self-esteem and help give her some confidence to know that the second she starts getting more older, the second she starts getting a little wrinkled or gains a little bit of weight, that you're not gonna go running off with someone different. Because it happens to both men and women, right? We start putting on a little bit of age or we start putting on a little bit of weight. And the biggest concern I hear with that right away is that our partners will leave us for someone that looks better because so often our compliments are based upon looks. So this goes both ways, women. Also compliment your men or your significant other, right? I'm using cisgender language, I know that. But it goes with any person. Let them know what is their value in the relationship. Number two, wants to talk and listen to her, right? Listen, listen wholeheartedly. And you can even ask her, hey, do you want a solution to this? Are you just talking to get it out? Are you just talking to bond? Are you talking for communication and connection? Because often, and I know it's a stereotype, but it's true that women talk to bond. We talk to feel important, to be heard, to build connection, to build emotional intimacy. So emotional intimacy, when we have a lot of emotional intimacy with our significant others, that also often leads to wanting more physical intimacy. So if you can listen to her and ask her, do you want a solution or do you just need me to listen to you? That's not only going to go a long way and letting her get her needs met, but it's going to show that you actually care about what she wants, right? It's like tending the garden. Like, do you want a little water? Do you want me to pick up the weeds back here? You know, can I feed you these raspberries straight off the vine? Like, what do you want? How can I make you feel important, loved, nurtured, cared for? And that work that you put into listening will help increase her level of bonding, her trust, her communication with you. And once again, that can lead to more physical intimacy, which we all love, right? It may be stereotypical that only guys like it, but little secret, girls like it too. All right. Number three, share some experiences with her. Every relationship gets into a rut. Right, where we start doing the same things over and over again, or maybe we get busy with work, we get busy with the kids, or we get busy with whatever, and we forget to care for each other in certain ways. Right? Or there's a cycle of the relationship, right? Almost like the seasons. Everything runs in cycles, right? Gardens run in cycles. So nurture your garden consistently, nurture her consistently by sharing experiences, doing fun, different things that create connection, that create memories. So you can say, hey, remember the time that we did this? Hey, did you like going dancing there? We should try that again. Hey, that building birdhouses was a complete failure, but let's try it. 
Or, hey, do you want to learn to change the oil in your car? Like, I don't know. I like learning little things like that. I like being knowledgeable and understanding how to do specific things around the house. So I don't mind sharing those things. Now, you got to know your girl well enough to know what she likes. But don't be afraid to ask her and include her in some of the things that you do and vice versa. Ask her if you want to be included in some of the things that she does just to share an experience once in a while. Right, like, hey, I don't know what you like so much about this. Will you bring me along sometime? Right, or find something that you can do together, right? Because then when you're in that low cycle, that kind of boring rut, mm, am I happy here? What's going on? The intimacy seems to be low. Everything seems to be down. You can use those past experiences as a bouncing off point to start bringing your relationship back up out of that cycle into something more fresh, more vibrant. You know what's been fun, what's worked, what hasn't worked in the past, and it gives you a beautiful launching off point, right? To build something in your relationship for longer and longer, longer and longer. That's not what I meant to say. So your relationship can get stronger and stronger. So when you're in that long-term relationship, you have that connection. You have the things that she wants to do and the things that you want to do that create emotional, physical connection. And listen, three keys, pretty simple, pretty easy. Enjoy, stay tuned for more tips and we're gonna get more into deeper intimacy around physicality. How can you have more physical connection in your relationship as well? Once again, stay tuned. I'm Dawn and just remember, you're loved, you're loving and you are lovable.